Let's quickly make a few mock-ups here and I'll show you how cool Canva is. Um, so I'm just clicking on uploaded images um, and I'm just resizing it and holding down that control button um, while I'm sizing it and literally just sending the image to the back. So let's just do another one here. Um, again, holding down that control button and just sizing it so that it fits over the wind spinner shape. Right click and send it back. And let's just do one more. So already two mock-ups done. Here I've left enough space around the wind spinners for you to add your own logos, your branding, and I'll show you how easy it is um, to add that information to your mock-ups here. Okay, so I'm just looking for my logo. It's in here somewhere. I upload everything to Canva. <laughs> Um, to use for my marketing. So just bear with me here. It's here somewhere. I know there's a way. Oh, there it is. There's a way to pin it as your logo. Um, I've just been kind of lazy. So I'm um, just going to drop it in the corner. Again, I'm holding shift. It's a little glitchy, but you'll get used to it. And just moving it over to the wood because this is a white logo. So that shows up nice there. Um, if you want to add some text, literally just going um, navigate and just explore. You can't mess anything up. There's some pre um, existing text that you can just click and retype over and use. Um, so here I'm just using basic um, header. You can change the font, the size, how you want it to look. There's some really cool effects that you can do um, to it. I'm just kind of showing you how easy it is to drag and resize your fonts. This is cool. It actually kind of picks up the color that's in your mockups already. So those first two color swatches are based on the design. So here you can play with different effects, change the colors. Um, yeah, right up there is where they're picking up the uh, colors from your design. So everything coordinates really nicely within clicks. I absolutely love this program. I can't get enough of it. Um, so here are some saving options. You can save as PNG, JPEG, videos, PDF, SVGs. You can make a GIF. Honestly, unlimited options. If you had done all 15 pages that I included with one click, it saves them all. Here I'm showing you how you can make um, a video out of all the things that you placed on your artboard. So like, pretty cool. This is how I make all my predictive text videos. Uh, what else am I showing you here? Um, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed it.